This is summary of chapter 10 in the book Psychology of Money. The chapter title cannot be more straightforward. It's called Save Money. You probably know and have heard several times saving money is essential to grow your wealth. Let me give you two reasons from this chapter that convinces you further to save money. One, in long term in your life, even if you are able to grow your wealth faster by making better investments, let's say in equity, you will still be worse off than a friend who earns the same amount of income as you, but saves more than you, but makes less return on their investments. That's very simple max. It's like having a big water tank, irrespective of whatever rate at which the water flows in, if you have a hole at the bottom, you are more likely to not increase the water level. Second reason, in today's environment, it's not going to be shocking to be realistic about how jobs are going to be. Layoffs are not one-off cases anymore. And there is a very highly likely chance that you or someone in your family could be laid off and saving money could become very, very uh, handy in such cases. If you are not convinced with these two reasons, here is a third one. We discussed in the past that having control over life gives you more happiness than anything. And if you have more money in your bank account, don't you agree that it gives you more control over your life and lets you do what you want? Thank you.